Hello students, welcome to the digital signal processing. This time we are discussing the properties of the DFT. Let's discuss the pro property that is circular symmetries of a sequence. Let's say there is one sequence XP of N which is the periodic sequence. Right now you can just observe here the XP of N is given with the expression in terms of the X of N shifted by some of the amount. Let's say it is LN. So L times N. Next is XP dash. This is one of the sequence which we can so xp dash is nothing but xp dash n is nothing but actually the shifted version of xp so for this let's uh, go for one of the additional sequence that is x dash of n in terms of the xp dash n it is having the relation that it is 0 to n minus 1 bounded and rest of the values are 0 so for x of n if it is bounded for the region let's say 0 to 3 only 0 1 2 3 these are the sample values for x of n then we can easily say that x of 0 is nothing but 1 x of 1 is 2 x of 2 is 3 x of 3 is 4 now in order to go for further analysis let's say for this sequence xp of n what is xp of n this entire sequence is nothing but xp of n means periodic sequence or x of n so 0 1 2 3 this is getting repeated further for let's say infinite period and again here also at the left side also it has been repeated next is xp of n minus 2 so xp of n minus 2 means it is the delayed or the time shifted version of xp so it means in short whatever the value you are observing let's say at the this particular instant at x of 2 the value is 3 but the same value for x of 2 is getting shifted to x of 4 so this 3 is getting shifted to this point similarly this 2 is here then this 1 is here so these shifting are been done by two locations so we can just observe here this is 2 and this digit is nothing but with respect to that point is nothing but 0 so this is how xp of n minus 2 is derived next x dash of n it is bounded again for the region 0 to 3 so for this entire section if you just bound it for 0 to 3 this is what the region to be concentrated after that xp of n minus 2 to convert as x dash of n within 0 to 3 region only so this is nothing but actually the periodic nature for the signal in order to write it in a circular fashion this is how x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 and x of 3 written in a anti-clockwise fashion similarly if someone want to write down its periodic appearance it is nothing but x dash of 0 then x dash of 1 x dash of 2 and x dash of 3 so x dash of n is actually the uh, reflection of x of n minus k mod n which is nothing but written like x of n minus k n so what exactly the relation between these two quantities if someone want to write it like x dash of n is equal to x of n minus 2 mod 4 so x of n minus 2 mod 4 so let's say if i want to derive the value of x dash of 0 so x dash of 0 is nothing but the value 3 which is same as that of x of minus 2 mod 4 so why it is x of minus 2 because n is 0 over here so it is resulting in the value x of minus 2 so this x of minus 2 mod 4 that will result in a x of 2 it means x dash of 0 is same as that of the x of 2 that is 3 so this is how these two values are same similarly if we want to proceed let's say x dash of 1 x dash of 1 is 4 it is same as that of the x of 3 so it is same as that of the x of 3 similarly if we go for the further values x dash of 2 is nothing but same as that of the x of 0 that is 1 further if we go for x dash of 3 it is same as that of this value that is x of 1 this is x dash of 3 so this is how these values are being checked with respect to the expression that x dash of n is equal to x of n minus k mod n. This is simple circular shifting property. This can be summarized in the next slide as 
hence x dash of n is simply x of n shifted circularly by two units in time right now we just taken the delay of two so where the counterclockwise direction has been arbitrarily selected as a positive direction thus we conclude that a circular shift of an n point sequence is equivalent to a linear shift of its periodic extension and vice versa the inherent periodicity resulting from the arrangement of the n point sequence on the circumference of a circle dictates a different definition of even and odd symmetry and time reversal of a sequence so what is exactly this even and odd symmetry an n point sequence is called circularly even if it is symmetric about the point zero on the circle so this implies that x of n minus n is equal to x of n so if it is circularly odd obviously <coughs> it is anti-symmetric about the zero on the circle so it will be indicated by the expression x of n minus n is equal to minus x of n and that too for the region or over the interval 1 to n minus 1 the time reversal of an n point sequence is attained by reversing its samples about its about the point 0 on the circle thus the sequence x of minus n is simply given as x of n minus n so this is what simply we can write down that whenever the se sequence is folded one and it is again taken with the mod operation then it is simply x of n minus n that is for the region 0 to n minus 1 so this is all about the circular symmetry property and in terms of the circle also we have seen how to rearrange the sequence if it is simply let's say the x of n sequence it has to be written in this particular manner x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 if it is folded one then obviously it will be in a reverse side so exact opposite so this x of 1 will be coming over here so this is all about the symmetry property so thank you everyone thank you very much